Good morning, Sagittarius. Gang, gang, all is well. Happy Saturday. Welcome to Spiritual Saturday. And on Saturday, we do spiritual readings. So, yeah, let's get into it. And I will be doing an extended for this if you're interested in it because this is highlighting new beginnings in your life. Let's do this. <laughs> this is, I've seen the Aces reading uh, done in by several different readers and I'm just adding a few twists and turns of my own. So this is what we're talking about. New beginnings. So if you're not interested in new beginnings, then... I guess this wouldn't be for you, but I think as Sagittarians, <laughs> we definitely are interested in it, okay? We are. So we're going to look at um, all of the aces, then we're going to look at some, what may be coming to completion for you, and uh, some risks you might need to take, some things you don't see yet. Yeah, but what was interesting for me, Sag, was that this just popped out of nowhere was the queen of wands and judgment let's do it because judgment is about so many things right but you know it's leaving the past behind it's embracing changes and being in the queen of wands energy yes yes <laughs> that's who we are like when i think about now i know there are specific cards that represent sagittarius like temperance um, I very much feel like Judgment does, the Wheel of Fortune, but the Queen of Wands, that confidence, that unstoppable, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to do it, I am not, you know, let the chips fall where they will. <laughs> and that's the energy you're embracing. I feel like you, you know, for many of us, you are embracing changes. And so, yes, it's here for you, Sagittarius. You know, let's start with the Ace of Cups. If you're looking for personals, check out the link in my description and just know that the the May special is coming to an end this weekend. So, you know, although I don't do personal readings on the weekend, you can book for next week. And, you know, as of Monday, you'll lose your shot. So you want to get in on that. So Ace of Cups, what your heart is opening to, right? And uh, shine is here with the sky is the limit. You're definitely open to possibilities. And there's nothing better than having your heart open to that, right? And open to possibilities of the heart. The Three of Cups and the Two of Cups is here. I love this, Sagittarius. So I do feel like you're opening up to new connections. You know, um, even getting together, right? It, you could feel... a like you might be going out more often um, and just being around people that you feel supported by. And since this is a new beginning, you could be making new connections. And this could actually, you know, definitely the Two of Cups can talk about friendships. So friendships are really highlighted here, but people that align with who you are now, you know, because... <laughs> Someday I'm going to talk about that, but like we're constantly changing and, and it can be very difficult. It doesn't mean that people are not good, but we can find that we don't align with certain people anymore. And so, you know, who you've evolved into today are the type of people that you want to align with and you're open to it, right? And so you may be getting out there. You know, even if you're like me <laughs> and spent a lot of time in the house, you might be thinking about, you know, getting out there a little bit more, finding ways to connect with new people that you feel align with what where your heart is now. You know, this could this could lead to something bigger with the two of cups, you know, it could lead to romantic love as well. Um We'll definitely look at that, Sagittarius. Uh, so this is a this is a longer reading, <laughs> but let's get into it. So the Ace of Pentacles. What doors are opening for you? Because that's what I think about. 
Although the Ace of Pentacles definitely is stability, right? But, and really tends to focus on money opportunities. And I, I see it here, you know, so what new doors are opening for you? Um, it's interesting because that came out with the death card. That's just feeling like you don't, like the challenges are coming to a close, like things aren't as hard. Um, so you definitely are working on seeking balance because it's interesting because there's so much duality here. That's what I think about when I think about the twos personally. Um, but with justice being here, you're definitely making some decisions regarding balance in your life. Okay. Maybe what you're going to find is that your money situation or job situation, this won't be for everyone, but things aren't as hard and you don't have to, at the time when they were, you put a lot on your plate and maybe everything was about work. And it, truthfully, we don't manifest under those conditions. Um, so I, I definitely feel as if you're looking towards balance you know, maybe even taking some things off your plate, especially if you've been very busy or, you know, maybe you took more than one job because you needed to get over this hump. It is telling you that the hump is ending, that things are not going to be as challenging. And so you can fit more things into your life. You can take a little bit off your plate, which I love this for you. Ace of Wands tends to talk about movement and our, what we're doing, what are the actions we're taking, what are we moving towards, because I always think of the Ace of Wands as what we're doing, right? Now, Merge came here, powerful combination to achieve excellence. I feel like you're going to be thinking a lot more about co-creation and creating things with other people. So, you know, the magician is here with, with the empress. So you definitely may be moving towards something new that will be very fruitful for you and, and very good for you. Like the empress, wow. It's so much, right? And it's abundant. And, you know, I, I think about that with the magician because the magician um, knows how to make things work. And I feel like you might be creating that with other people. Like maybe part of it is you don't have to do everything yourself, right? Because the Empress isn't necessarily about go, go, go. You know, maybe it's about delegation. It's about letting other people do things too. But whatever it is that you are co-creating or creating with other people that is actually going to free you up some time for self-care to, you know, and you know that this is the right move for you. And what is this truth you're facing? Sagittarius, Ace of Swords. Um, what came out is power. Believe that you are greater than any obstacle. I loved that because it feels like you're <coughs> embracing your inner passion, Saj. Knight of Wands is here with the Three of Wands. Um, just, it is knowing that it's time for something new. It's time for you to move to a, a different state of being. Maybe that's about, you know, attracting more adventure in your life being more about the things that make you feel passionate, going for things. Because while the Knight of Wands is really good in the moment, a, the Knight of Wands is, a, you know, it, it's time now to move towards things. So you may actually be taking action towards things you feel passionate about. Maybe you're even with the Three of Wands discovering new passions. Some of you might be moving. You know, and, and maybe, you know, you have waited for stuff, but it's like the feeling of, I don't want to wait anymore. It's time for me to go. You know, love it. On the bottom of the deck, the lovers. 
the Six of Cups, <coughs> the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Five of Cups. It feels like you're accepting the endings of some things, right? So with the lovers, that is like the need to make a decision. And you may be making a decision. I mean, this could be about leaving people behind. Um, but you know what this, this feels like to me, honestly? Like, you know, especially if you're moving on past people you have known a long time. And, but realizing that it's keeping you stuck in some way. Because, you know, the Eight of Swords is often about our patterns. You know, you could just be leaving a pattern. Um, but it's like something that has kept you stuck in the cycle of sadness. Um, or you might just be feeling sad because there is this kind of this feeling of just, you know, leaving... That could be, you know, people in your life that you keep them in your life because of a past history or you've known them a long time. But there's also the sense of it not working anymore. You know, not working for you anymore. And so, you know, I feel like uh, you might be leaving that behind. You're definitely leaving behind sadness. I will tell you that and maybe not even thinking about people in terms of how long you've known them is not going to like determine your loyalty to it, but it did. And so, yeah, I love this for you. So let's take a look at more things. So, okay, Sag, let's move on to the world. Now, the world is bringing a cycle to a close. The world is, it is success, right? It is all of those things, but it's also completing a cycle. It's the last card in the tarot, and then we move back on to the fool, right? So, let's see what cycle is coming to a close for you. What is Sagittarius completing? What is that? And let's use a different deck for that. Let's see what cycle is completing for Sagittarius. Sagittarius. As you can probably tell, this is like my favorite deck if you're interested at all. It's called the Folklore Tarot. Picked it up at the run fair. <laughs> so what... Tell us about the world and what cycle is completing for Sagittarius. Okay, Sag. Ooh. Definitely making new things happen. It's kind of like once you decide on it, it's going to happen really quick. And be better than you expected. Love it. So what cycle is completing for Sagittarius? What cycle is completing for Sagittarius? Nine of Cups. All right. What cycle is completing? Well, you're getting what you want. And able to um, focus maybe on pampering yourself. What cycle is completing? The Hierophant. Interesting. What cycle is it? Yeah, I really feel like you're going to be able to do more things for yourself. Look at this. Two of Pentacles again. So that's very much going to be something and that's definitely about balance too right and like i always think of the two of pentacles as the being extra card right like just like doing too much um with the nine of cups and the hierophant you're going to be very committed now it, and it may feel like things are in a really good place for you to focus on yourself on pampering yourself doing things for yourself 
um, maybe even exploring something that is centered around spirituality with the three of pentacles and the two of pentacles. And it's really because I, it feels like you're not feeling like you need to do everything yourself. You know, there is a sense of people helping you out, right? Working more, like collaborating more so that you're not so busy and so overloaded. And the Wheel of Fortune, this is going to be unexpected. It's very fortunate right? Because you're going to be able to focus more on yourself, right? You're putting your foot down in some way. Like with the Hermit, the Eight of Cups, and the Seven of Wands, it's like you're putting your foot down. Maybe it's just saying, you know what? I, I need time. I shouldn't have to do everything myself. It's about boundaries, and this is really like a new way of moving because you want to also, Ace of Wands, you want to explore new things. You want to feel excited about life. You know what I'm saying? So I love that, Sagittarius. Look, the Two of Swords. I didn't even see that hiding underneath the Two of Pentacles. I, I And I feel like on some level... Um, you've been unsure about that. Maybe you didn't even see you needed to do that. And maybe, you know, people just step up to say, hey, Sad, you don't have to do everything yourself. And, you know, you deserve to have time for yourself. You know, and I think it really shows you, although you may feel as if there's kind of like a, almost like a combative energy but I, I feel like with the Seven of Wands, you know that there is a need for you to also value yourself. And maybe there's more to life than work, right, Saj? Just saying. Okay. The Fool. The Fool. Let's see what risks you're going to be taking. What chances? What are you jumping in for, Saj? What are you going for? What risks are Sagittarius going to take in this new cycle? Look, the three cups again. Definitely spending time with new people, I feel like. So what risks is Sagittarius going to be taking? Risks, chances, risks and chances for such. It's gonna say such. Oh, chariot. The two of pentacles. <laughs> It's like, it's like dogging your heels now. Risks. Some of you may be um, making a move. I know some people who are doing that, who shall remain nameless. So the Chariot, the Two of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Tower... Why is the tower here? Jeez. Thought we were over all that. <laughs> wow. So I definitely, what's nice is that, because I heard someone say when Tara shows up in your reading, you know, you also need the balancing energy of Scorpio. And it's here for you. And I feel like there's some big things about, like, how you've been doing things that's changing. Um, because there is clean slate energy here. And that is really, like, I always often think of the Hierophant, too, as the, they do the right thing. 
they do things the way they've been done. They're always the responsible one, the, the wise one, right? But I, I feel like you are going to really maybe do things differently. You could be moving to a new place, definitely, because we're starting with the chariot, ending with the two of wands. Um, six of pentacles and the ten of swords. I feel like there may be um, a little bit of a worry about money, but also you're really committed to making changes in your life. So there could be some spontaneous travel coming in for you. Or for some reason, I just keep getting that you're leaving something that you've always done. Now, that could be a job, maybe, because you really want a clean slate. You really just want to... Do you ever see that about, you know, sometimes I want to just go to a new city and it has that feeling for me. It's like something that you've always done, you're leaving behind. And it may be sudden with the chariot, may be sudden. You know, like, and the tower is an unexpected change because with the Hierophant, you already have this in your mind. But if you hesitate, it feels like the universe is saying, well, or what happened to your commitment to new such and to balance so let me just knock this building down for you <laughs> it very much feels like that it feels like you kind of waver on it and they say nope no wavering no wavering such well so that's interesting Sagittarius so let's round this off with what you don't see Sagittarius, what is it that Sagittarius doesn't see coming? Probably none of it, right? <laughs> what is it that Sagittarius doesn't see coming? What is it Sagittarius doesn't see? chariot remember the chariot's also victory what is it Sagittarius doesn't see coming oh my goodness the moon <coughs> oh you might like in terms of the chariot, right? You might think you can't do it. You might think that you can't do it, but what you don't see is that help is coming in. Six of Pentacles, maybe even money. Someone's being generous with you. And what's interesting is here you are in between the King and Queen of Cups. So there could actually be a couple here who is making this happen for you. Let's take a look at the King and Queen of Cups. The King and Queen of Cups. Tell me about the King and Queen of Cups. The Fool. Yeah, they're making things possible for you. Yep. Oh my goodness, Saj. Like literally. Um, they're bringing it to you. Like, especially this money or whatever it does feel like money it does feel like money and tell me about the king of pentacles 
They're definitely helping you. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. So many Ace of Swords. It's like, I actually feel like they may be connecting you with someone else, this King of Pentacles, um, who is going to get you the resources. Wowza. Oh my goodness. I love this for you, Sag. So what is supporting Sagittarius through all these new beginnings? What is the support, the strength? What is supporting Sagittarius? What is supporting Sagittarius? Ooh, the star. Positive attitude. Faith. What is supporting Sagittarius? Maybe you just knew like things were going to get better and that was that. The Star, the Queen of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups, the Nine of Cups. I don't know, whoever this Queen of Cups is, it may be a female in your life or a friend or something like that. I feel like you kind of tell them about what you're wanting and you do have a lot of faith that, you know, in terms of things getting better, maybe even specific dreams, right? And all I know is that you keep faith alive and this Queen of Cups come, comes in to help, you know, because what I'm really seeing is that they're, the Queen and the King of Cups are helping you, which may be a couple, could be family or friends, but it's like they're making, they're helping you to make something possible. Wow, okay. And it all boils down to though, Saj, because you believe it is possible. Because you keep faith alive, keep a positive attitude. So let's see what the challenge is. And I feel, it almost feels like you're talking to this Queen of Cups about what it is that you're wanting. You know, you could be talking about what your dream is. And they're showing you how, it, how it's possible. Mm. Interesting. So what is the challenge? What's the challenge with... What is the challenge? Queen of Cups was also the challenge, so maybe it's just hard for you to talk about or to, you know, share that with other people. What is the challenge? Or belief itself might be hard to maintain, but you got to do it, Sag. King of Swords and the Page of Cups. Yeah, because you don't want to delude yourself, <laughs> to be honest. That's why you kind of want to keep things to yourself. You do kind of want to do everything yourself. But you also know that that's not possible. Like if you don't, um, King of Swords and the Page of Cups is really about expressing yourself and what's on your heart. And, you know, because with the Seven of Cups, it could be, I don't know what to do here. 
you know, you want to do everything yourself, but there's also, you know, you may struggle with making it happen or in your mind, you are not sure how to make it happen. And the truth is the key to making whatever it is that you want happen is sharing it, is letting people know. Um, and also accepting that you can't do everything yourself. You know, and with the King of Swords, you keep trying to figure it out. And there is just a sense of not being able to figure it out yourself, which may be kind of a challenge for you because you're the problem solver. You know? <laughs> okay. Okay, Sagittarius. <laughs> Wowza. So let's see what you're learning. What is Sagittarius learning? What is Sagittarius learning? And I will look at all of these aces a little more. Um, specific in the extended. Yes, yes. What is Sagittarius learning? What is Sagittarius learning? So, to stand up for yourself, Sag. Oh. Let them go. All right. And that you can have everything you want. And you're standing up for yourself, which may be leaving something behind. But, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> so I hope this really helps Sagittarius Toodles.